just close your eyes, please. My name is Koen van Pottelberg. I'm a Belgian optometrist. It's strange with your eyes closed, no? You can open them. Welcome in the world of seeing. It's strange, no? Seeing nothing and seeing everything. I hope that that can bring you in my world. But my life changes after a car accident. It changed total my personality also. I was one month in coma, six months in clinic, and two years of rehabilitation. Start to walk again, start to use my hands again. I'm blind on my left eye. But I'm here. Still standing. Yeah. I'm still standing. But why? I don't know. I'm not a saint. Sometimes I feel me like a saint, but I'm not a saint. But every day I look to the stars, I open my eyes and I say to my God, thank you. It's another day. I have to do something with that. Why I'm here? I don't know. There's no answer to that. But I wanted to do something with that. And that was very important. And sometimes, as an optometrist, I was born in a family of optometrists. We are, I think, we're 12. My father, his brothers, his children, the grandchildren. Yeah, it's in our genes, I think. And we know, I've learned that a lot of people have problems, eye problems. How many people here wear contact lenses, glasses? Oh, big business, big business. So when you don't know which study you have to do, <laughs> become an optometrist like me. It's big business. Yeah. And you know worldwide, one billion people has no access. We have access. We can choose glasses, lenses, an operation. But more than one billion people worldwide have no access. But then, I met this guy. You know him? Professor Joshua Silver. He was an inventor. And I was watching through television. And his name is Professor Silver. My friends call me sometimes Silver Man. I don't know why. So he was there on television. I said, man, oh man, a real Professor Silver. And he started talking, talking, talking. I said, oh, he's talking about classes. So I met him, and you see, it's maybe because of my accident. You don't meet people by accident. I thought I could fly with my car, but... And I met him, and it changes also my life, because when I put those glasses, I turn on the wheel, I said, oh, wow, I can see. Okay, left eye blind, on my right eye, I have minus three. It's average, but without, I don't see nothing. Maybe it's better to see nothing. But I was happy that I met him because it was a new world. I talked to Professor Koppen here in Antwerp. She's one of the famous professors for cornea problems. I said to her, I met someone. He has an adjustable glass with fluid, with liquids. She said, I don't know. I was happy she didn't know. I met him. And then together, we changed that look a little bit, okay? I said to Joshua, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> so he appreciated me and we changed the look and I had the ability to uh, be the, the social partner of our Red Devils during the World Cup. And I met a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Here she is. You know her? You know her? And she said to me, Kuhn, these are the glasses for the future. Kuhn, this is the brill van de toekomst. <laughs> I said, yeah, majesty, I called her majesty, it gives people, children, a future. I love that statement of her because it opened doors for me. 
And like Bess said, I love the smiles on people's face. I love it. They give me positive vibes, better than vitamins, vitamins in the pharmacy. It costs a lot of money. A smile costs nothing, zero. But it gives me positive energy. And it's so nice. I'm not a comic guy sometimes, but putting simple glasses on someone's face and you get a smile. Why are you so quiet? It's By working with Joshua Silver, one professor of the States contacted me. He said, uh, Kuhn, I heard about you during the World Cup. I want to meet you. I said, man, I was six weeks, six weeks in, in Brazil. I don't want to fly to, to the States. No, no, he said, I live in Brussels. Oh, okay. Not so far. So I took my car and we met each other. And uh, John Friedman, it's a professor and anthropologist who um, works in the university at Utrecht. And he met some Dutch guys who were working with the Alvarez principle. It's another principle. It's not the fluid principle. It's a principle with two convex, convex, uh, convex uh, concave uh, lenses who slide through each other. Simple like that. I'm going to show you. Now it's coming. Eh? Come on. Eh? Wow, wow, wow. These are the glasses. And with a simple slide here to the wheel, I can see. I have a minus three. It's like a binocular. OK, it's perfect. Simple like that. So with this, I know we are not going to win the first prize of the best design. I know. I know. But it's very easy. All of you can be an optometrist. You don't need me. And that's important, because there are not a lot of optometrists worldwide. That's a problem. But everybody can help me. Even my daughter of 14 can help me. She can explain. You have to do like that. Zoom, 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 zoom. When you see, stop. <laughs> it's easy. I like the simplicity. My bro, my partner in crime, John Friedman, as an anthropologi anthropologist, he always make from something simple, something complex. Man, oh man, oh man. For me, I try to find to do some simple. I'm a simple guy. So keep it simple. It's much easier. Believe me. So and what we want to do is giving everyone the right to see. It's very important. You know all of those who wear glasses when you don't have them. You don't see me. Maybe it's better. But it changed your life. So we give chances to people worldwide. And what I saw, because I always work together with eye doctors, because they are, these are my partners in crime, because this is not commercial, you know? But doctors, they think different. And they have the knowledge. So while I was in Brazil and in South Africa, I saw so much young people, your age, average age, and they have all cataract. Cataract. Normally, you think it's my grandfather or my grandmother or me. But 18 to 20 years. And the problem was that the UV cost that's those cataracts. And when I flew back from Rio to Brussels, I said, we have to do something about that. That's a better look, no? <laughs> it's like a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> but it's Presley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you lonesome tonight? I, I can't sing, sorry. So we created this pair of glasses to help people, young people, uh, for protecting their eyes for UV. And I think the most beautiful part, our factory is in Holland. We work, the assembling line, we work with disabled people. And that makes a difference, because they are so happy that they can make that. Because they know we are helping people worldwide. And we love that by doing that. And 
you know, with our lenses or glasses, I can help 85% of all the people, not 100%. As an optometrist, I want to help 100%. So what was the problem? And I'm not going to be the te technical guy, is astigmatism. Some of you have that problem. Yeah, it's more complex. We have a, I have a minus three, so I'm myopia. I have a, my eye is it's like a football. I like to play soccer. But those guys of astigmatism, rugby ball. It's more complex. It's more complex. So we tried to find a solution, and we found the solution with the eye snap. It's a round, simple round glass. And we can adjust the axis because you have three parameters. It's quite, quite uh, difficult. But by working with a, a round pair of glasses, we pre cut the lenses and we can turn and snap them in. And with that idea, we start wow, what can we do with that idea? 2015, I had a project here in Antwerp with Da Kant, Da Close in Antwerp, homeless people in Antwerp. I saw 600 people. 155 we helped with our focus packs. They were happy. 60% of the people I saw were Janssen and Petersen, Belgians. I could believe. I thought, man, that's not possible. I did a study, and a lot of people have financial problems in our country. And they can't afford a simple pair of glasses. So we created a new kind of technology, and we created this pair of glasses. It's my daughter, made with love. Mm. Yeah. She wears it. It costs 10 to 20 euro with glasses, not without glasses, with lenses, not without lenses. You know, 10 to 20 euro. So we work together with the Ocean Ways. Uh, we try to help uh, people worldwide, doctors of the world, who don't have papers. And we really love it because looking good gives, gives confidence. Women always say, yeah, I look to his shoes. No, 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 no. First to the face, always, and then the eyes. And then, okay, the shoes. <laughs> but we always look to the face. And I, want, I don't want to that people are stigmatized with our focus packs. I know these are the first solution in the pyramid of seeing. First solution. It's that, it's nothing. This gives already a good solution, but that, I think it's better. No? Are you convinced? Huh? Okay. By doing that, I was with my partner in crime, from Accra to Kigali, I said, John, we can do something business with that. Because you need money. For helping people, you always need money. I hate money, but you need money. So we tried to think a little bit of commercial, and we started a new brand, Faces and Glasses. I, life, I, I love this statement. It's a statement of uh, John, my partner. Make our vision your vision, and your vision their vision. So what we do, we are selling glasses here in Antwerp with our new brand with a buy one, give one. So you buy one and you give one. It's always nice to help people worldwide. I'm a dreamer. I think 90% of you are also dreamers. It's important. Everything starts with a dream. Believe in your dream. Believe in it. Believing is not enough. You have to do it. Do something with your dreams. It's so important to dream. Maybe a little bit fantasy, okay? But a dream. Believe in your dream and do it. And when you fail, you fail. Whatever. You can fail. But you did it. This is a quote of Nelson Mandela. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. So never give up your dreams. Because you can change someone's life. Thank you all. This is it. <laughs>